Hello everybody and James Old Toys. It's me, Mickey Mouse. Ha ha ha. I've come back to see James today just now. And I bought some things. Let's take a look. Go away. Did I buy some stuff? Look at this, folks. Wow. It's a little Smurf case. If I open it up without breaking it. Ha ha ha. I've done it. Wow. Look at that. You put all your Smurfs in here. And I've bought Smurfs from James. i got a whole pile. It's really cool. So you just put your finger in the hole and it should just lift up. There we go. There's one. Two. Then you put your Smurfs in. Isn't that just dandy? Awesome. Pretty cool. What else have I got? Ooh, it's a bag of stuff. All the way from Ben Lee. The chair of He-Man. This is the chair that He-Man sits on, on the castle of Grayskull. Unfortunately, the peg is busted. I don't care. I like it. It's a nice little bit. It's quite cool. I like. Pretty cool. Oh, this is something special. I'll save it for later, Nathan. <laughs> it's really something special. I bought this. It's a good, good, good ghost. But the coolest thing is, James, I bet you didn't know it. But when I picked it up and held it in my hand, it started to change color. It glows in the dark. Boo, 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 boo. Golly! I got myself a Boyd. This is also from He-Man. Unfortunately, one of its legs broken. And most of them do come broken. It's always the leg. It's always the fucking leg. Ah, uh, whatever. And it sort of flaps to press this little button like shooting thing. It sort of flaps, but my bird is slightly handicapped and, well, it's got a droopy. A droopy wing. I don't know, whatever. I don't know. Whatever's. Whatever's. But I'll repaint it and I'll paint it like Iago. From Disney's Aladdin. How's that, James? How is that? You'd like that? I know you would. You'd like when I do all this Disney stuff. But let's take a look. Look at this. I got a sweet deal for this vintage He-Man figure. It is He-Man. It's Triclops. But he's missing his three-eyed hat thing that he wears. He looks pretty awful without it. But... I got a good price on it. I really got a swell, jolly price on it. A real good price on it. He had more. James does have more broken ones and not so broken ones. But I just want it for the parts, the arms, legs, and body. Um, I've got future projects I want to use, so I thought buy a few. Because it'll be easier for me in the long run. Beast Man. Here's a beastly looking fella. He is missing his legs, and his face is a bit fucked. It's sort of missing quite a bit of paint on his face. But I actually really bought it just so I can have that little chest piece. Because I like bits and pieces. It's pretty cool. It's also from the 80s vintage He-Man line. Ha ha ha. Now where is he? Well, one of the other is. I think this is called Men E Faces. Because he's got many faces. Look at him go. He goes round, round like a record. And he also does that. That's his action. Wow, isn't this a good toy? He just, just spins around. He's a spinner. Oh, 
off here he is. The cream of the crop. Look at him. It's almost there, you know. I just see his legs. At the moment he's an amputee. But his face is in good shape. His body is in relatively good shape. And he sort of spins around, but not. But it has his action. That's right, folk. If you don't remember what this is, you put a cap in. It's one of those cap guns. Sorry, I'm going to have to adjust my earphones. You put a cap in there and close it up. And then you use that to set it off. Is there how it actually does that? I really don't know. I know this sort of spins around inside. I have to get baking soda and peel it off. It's been used heavily. Keep this your fist mid backdrop thing. Whatever. But all in all, I did get a fair price for this. And I've got plans I'd like to try to use. Hmm. Maybe I can use it for that, but I don't know. I just thought of something stupid for it. You know what happened if someone like me in a few months time I'm trying to learn some three D software to do some three D lifelike sculpting. It's a big program for me to learn. I'll try to learn that. And who's to say that I can't, you know, replicate three D sculpt this figure but have that action where, you know, it pops a cap, you know, someplace else. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nathan Lawson, this is something special that I got from Ben Lee. Special. Nathan Lawson at James Old Toy Shed today bought me this figure. He's such a special guy that Nathan Lawson, he's a good friend of mine, all round buddy, and he's reliable, honest, and trustworthy, and and Nathan Lawson bought me, me. Look at that. Golly. Look at that. It's a little, it's a weird action figure. Because it's an action figure body, but the head is that weird plastic rubber stuff from those PVC miniature figure figures. And the weird thing is, it's got no date, but stamped on his foot. Walt Disney Productions. And on the head, very back of the head, it says, uh, Walt Disney Productions made in Hong Kong, but it's still not nearly dated. If I had to guess, it's probably the 70s era. I have a few things that are very much like this sort of style and feel, including a bending, a Mickey Mouse bending that has the same colorings as this from the 70s. But I think that he might actually be from 70s. Strangely. But it's in really good shape. Uh, a few, you know, missing black paint here and there, and some of the red on his pants, but, you no, know, I think this is actually a played toy, which you can actually see on the back, paint missing from that. It's like someone was actually holding on to it like this, and they were playing with it. Who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me? M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C. -E ha, 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 Mickey Mouse! Mickey Mouse. Thank you very much, James. And you too, Nathan Lawson, for a good day swell outing. I like to ha go oot in a boot, eh? Eh? I like to go oot. Have a good time, everyone. See you later. Ha ha ha!